This week, we try out cement coloring on the Earth Bag Studio, Garen and Ellie figure out how to build a pool frame for their free liner, and Shay and Ben make a spicy dress shirt. Today we are creating a landing for the bottom part of the stairs in our studio. We had experimented with crushed up rubber. It's a nice idea and I think that it could have worked if we had more laminate but we chose not to. It's expensive so we instead are going to tear it out and we're going to create a concrete landing down there instead on the floor. Let's go take a peek. But this is it. This is what we're going to be fixing down here. It has had a rug on it ever since we moved in. It wasn't very fun to walk on. <laughs> We're pretty excited about having this be a walkable space here. I don't know if we need to tear this up or what. You think I we think could just blend them in? Right over it. You can see this is what we had experimented with. It's not rock, it's rubber. There actually are rubber floor kits we could have got that would have worked really good, but, yeah, but we try to do it ourselves and well, yes. you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. We always think <laughs> that we can, you know, hijack the system a little bit. <laughs> and sometimes that works beautifully and sometimes it turns into this floor. <laughs> This is the size that we're gonna be butting up to. Just need that thin layer of cement. Probably just blend it in. This is actually the original soil cement that we put down here all those years ago. Oh, what's that, two or three? Not really that long ago, but this is the soil cement. Oh, yeah. Well, it's pretty it's, hard. And it's had stuff over the top of it too. We want a cleaner feel. Yeah. We got a pool liner from a neighbor. They weren't using it anymore. They were so nice. They got an extra liner and they gave us the liner and a pump and everything. Garen got the pump working. <laughs> it did come with its own challenges of trying to build a frame for it. Finding all the materials. We didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. That was kind of the whole point. The only thing we need to come up with is a frame. And we happen to have this line around the house. This is an old pool frame from like a square pool. So we just have to kind of adapt a few pieces and use some PVC pipe and we're gonna make a pool frame. It was a lot of fun to go through, find the pieces. Figure out what we needed and how to build it and cut it straight. <laughs> a lot of fun to get something for so cheap like that pool and then not have all the pieces to it, but be able to make them and make something like that work. Hi love, rejects over there. Hopefully we got them cut at the right distance because if we didn't, it's gonna be a, a bummer. So I'm making little foot pegs for the bottom of the, they're gonna sit like this. I'm gonna drill a hole like halfway through the two by four so it'll hold it steady and that way it won't just sink into the ground. There's a lot out there that you can save a lot of money on and have a lot of fun fixing it in the process. <laughs> okay, we got all the foot pegs done so it's gonna look something like that. So that way they don't sink into the ground and we just need T's to connect them. What I'm gonna do is just take the T's and screw them to the downs. And then to be able to just go down to the hardware store and buy some PVC fittings to make work, it just, <laughs> it turned out surprisingly well for how much we had to finagle. I think it's pretty close to level already, so we just gotta rake it and do some final touches. And I think we'll be ready to start seeing if our frame works. Awesome. That is a big old pool. I was a little it, worried when we got the water in it that it was just gonna. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it really, it as soon as we filled it up, it got way more solid than I thought it was going to. And it's gonna work great. Kind of heat these up, because they're under a little bit of stress right now, and I figure if we do this, this will just make sure they don't crack on us. All right, we got quite a bit of water in here. So far, it looks like the frame is holding up pretty good. I went ahead and put another set of screws. It's good and sturdy, and the more water that gets in it, the more it'll have weight, but also structure. It is looking good, and it was a lot of fun doing it. Mm, it's gonna have a lot of fun to have a pool. And we were able to build the whole thing for, what was it, $18? Yeah, I think $18. we're $18 into it, so. That so was really fun. <laughs> yeah, and you can't say no to that. <laughs> I had a random spark of inspiration. I wanted to make a pepper themed shirt. Spice Bite, our streaming channel, the theme is peppers. So we went to everyone's favorite store and we got pepper fabric. And one that has peppers with tacos and burritos. and Very festive. So this is the shirt that we chose to be a template for our pattern. And the idea is to actually divide everything by half. 
and this sleeve will be tacos, and this sleeve will be peppers, and it'll just be a very fun, colorful meh. <laughs> we're gonna make a shirt for me out of it, and we're gonna pitch it to Brie and everybody else and see whether we all need matching Spice Bite chili pepper shirts. Patterns are all traced out. Good job. Become a, a show and tell. Torch. Become a show you and tell. Huh? <laughs> For me, right, Mom? Mm hmm, absolutely. He always said if I used it, I could have it. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta build a pool ladder today. Have you used it yet? No. Oh, so the first one to use it gets it? <laughs> Alright, you can have it. So Garen stopped by and he was telling us how he was gonna make a pool ladder. We're pretty sure we have a couple, so we're gonna take a look in the back in the junkyard and see if we can't find them. I know we have like three of them. Did I throw them in there? That would be a bummer. Oh, this one here, the white big white. Yeah. Watch your head. Thank you guys. I think we're getting the better deal out of it. <laughs> we are going to be experimenting for the first time with cement dye. We get a lot of people suggesting that we try it estimating that it takes that amount of water for this we may or may not be right but now we're going to add the dye to it it has an interesting like color, but it's actually supposed to come out more like a beige we have a color picked out we were talking about using for our countertops in our kitchen so this is going to be a great opportunity to see what that looks like downstairs looks like pumpkin juice mm -hmm. we'll just squeeze some pumpkins in there have yeah, our same, effect. Many. same effect wow it looks oh, cool so we took some sifted sand, tossed our cement in there, cement dye as well. Pumpkin juice. I was kind of liking the orange color. Well, it's supposed to be a tan, so maybe the combination of the two colors. Got it all mixed up, it's kind of brownish. It's definitely not gray. My eyes must be off to me, it looks a little green. Bree and I are gonna fill these buckets up and just take several trips up and down the stairs while Shay is down at the base leveling this stuff out with her leveling superpower. I've taken extensive courses on eye leveling. The association of winging it has certified me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been using peroxide for a mouthwash for a while and I like peroxide. If I start to even get a little cavity, it really gets into cracks in the crannies and it does a really good job. What I've experienced with peroxide though is it seems to make my teeth more brittle. I don't think it's something that I should be using daily. So Bree says to me, mom, why don't you find something that's equivalent to a peroxide that will clean your teeth and not make them brittle? We got aloe vera right out here, so why don't I try that? So I've been using it for a couple weeks and it's doing the job. So I thought, I would share it. It's just so simple to do. It only lasts a few days. So like if you look at this, it's kind of getting a pinkish tint. I'm gonna need to make new stuff. It doesn't smell bad. It might still be good, but I just don't like to see it get pink. And I know if I set it out long enough, it's gonna ferment and it's gonna be, well, you know, where it goes from there. So what do you do so, with it now? I mean, you just throw it away? Um, oh, why don't just... Yeah? Yeah, sure. How do I smell? So the first thing I do <clears throat> is I go out and get some aloe. Oh, she's got a knife! <laughs> Run! Oh, what's that? I'm gonna pick one that I've already cut on. Let's go with about that much. Cut so easily. The other day I cut this part off, so I'm gonna cut off about that much. Looks like I got a lot of mouthwash here if I need. So. 
Look, we've worked with aloe before. It's that inside right there that I want to get to. So I'm going to peel off all the outsides. I just cut those sides off right there. And I'm going to peel it here. And you can see that's the slime that we want to get to. <laughs> that's the good stuff right there. It's got lots of good, good qualities for killing germs and bacteria and all. And this stuff, if you want to, if you have acne or just want to Ooh, have a burn nice... burn or something. Yeah, you can actually use this. Yeah. Put it on your skin or put it on your face. It's very, very soothing. Sometimes we'll keep that like in a bag in our fridge for a few days if we have some skin issues we want to deal with. That chicken bone. Oh, wow. Chicken bone. You're handy. Don't keep me around. I'll keep you around. All right. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, you can see, I'm just going to add some water to that. I'm going to grab a cup of water, bamo, and then just mix this baby up. Cool. And I just pour it in here. Oh yeah, that was easy. And it's just a mouthwash. Do you want me to swish? If you want to swish, you okay. would swish. Do I just drink out of this? Or you want me to? Yeah, and you'll see it. It's okay. totally flavorless. Okay, for you who are not really keen on people spitting, turn your head. Here we go. Ooh, the noises. Oh no, the gargle. No, please. Ah! What ah. happens if I'm those of you? That was... <laughs> It, can't, it doesn't have a taste. It's it tasteless. I feel it's, fresh though. It's good stuff and it's got a lot of germ killing abilities. Simple. You could put it in the fridge with a lid on it. It's still not going to last real long. I don't like to rinse my mouth with something cold. <laughs> so mm. I keep it out with a cap on it. Excellent. Hello, Mothbosch. Yes. Super simple. Shay has actually been teaching me how to sew. She's a wee bit. I've started using the machine today. I've done buttonholes, buttons, pinning. cutting the fabric, pinning, everything. Wow, this looks so nice. He's sewing up the pocket. Pretty soon it'll be done and we'll get to show it off. <laughs> Mom, I realized last time I was just gluing fabric, but this time I'm actually sewing, so you really gotta be proud of me this time. I have a pepper pocket go on this side of the shirt. Right there, I got all the buttons done. It's been really cool, and we're actually coming really close to finishing up that project. Jack has seen better days. Paint you can see is like chipping all off and stuff. We found this old paint and we're gonna see if it's any good. <laughs> and then mix some sand in so that the deck's kind of grippy so you don't slip when you're wet. I'm just gonna mix half of this with sand for starters. All right, so we added about five scoops and it's getting pretty thick now. So I think this is about how we want it. It looks like a frosty. Do you want a spoonful? Mmm, delicious. Now we're gonna paint it on. The deck, I grew up with it. It was next to our trampoline for a while. We had a pool for a little bit, but, um, and it was next to that. So it's kind of fun to put it next to our pool now. And I just always remember having it next to a pool or a trampoline. <laughs> we finished it up. We did on that side where we started, we did put a little too much sand at first, but we thinned it out as we went. And I think it's gonna be pretty good. At least you won't slip and bruise your bottom. <laughs> we got the pool done, it's all set up. I think we're just ready to play now. Yeah. Shay is going to use her powers to make this fantastic down here and then we'll let it dry for a few days and it should be walkable. Interesting to see what color it dries as. Huh. It really looks green now. What do you think, dolls? You want to see some pug? Whoa. He's got these pug-like qualities. He's, still no He's got the underbite with a very long nose. And he has a little bit of wrinkling. <laughs> he does. Yeah, he does. He's super sweet. Oh, he is a sweet. That's because Shay's so nice to him. Ooh. My dog would be more rough and tumbly. Mom has a playful dog because <gasps> she plays with her. What did we get? We got ourselves a new sewing machine. 
we got this new sewing machine and I am so excited. It can do denim and it's really hefty. Even though it's like 70 years old, it still does an amazing job. Wow. So fancy too. So does this come up? I'm taking it apart. <laughs> What's he doing? I mean. Oh. I can't watch. I'm excited for some future projects I'll be having. Wow. It's really cool. And they rewired it, you said? Yeah. Wow, that is a switch. So cool. If I've ever seen one. Did you guys test it out? Oh yeah, she she went through six layers of denim and that was the test that we wanted. Wow, six layers. I'm excited, huh? I am excited for her too. We have a wasp infestation. Oh, I got stung three times. It's, it's swollen and he kind of got trapped between the fingers and ran like crazy. Can't move it very easily. I normally wouldn't kill wasps. We have to do it because it's so bad. I got my double sprayers. I'm gonna go out. Wish me luck. I don't like wasps. I can deal with bees, but not wasps. Did you get them? Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited about the way that the colored concrete turned out. I think it came out beautiful. We did use gray stain to go over the top of it. I happen to have some in, in the hoop barn, so I thought I would use that there, and it works good for the bottom of the stairs there in the studio. That's not gray, that is beige. Yep, beige certainly is. So you think this will work really well for the countertops and then maybe like a clear sealer yeah. over the top of that? Yeah. We also had some extra left over, so Shay came out. She did okay. this little patio on Bryson's room. So you can see the color is definitely beige. I think it's gonna work out good for our countertop if we decide to go with this color. It was fun working with the colored concrete. You saw it go in pumpkin color, and then it came out uh, really close to what it said it was gonna come out as. We're gonna be using a lot more of those concrete stains in the future. That's awesome. I wanted to just point this out. We've got two bats. I got one guy right there, and I've got one guy living up there in the corner. Right over my patio. You know, I was thinking I should start selling bat guano. Yeah? There, there seems to be a lot of it building up on this. <laughs> anyway. Head to the pool. There she is. Good day, good you. Yes, I know. Well, thank you for welcoming us. Hi, Diesel. You want to go in? Come on. Hi, Blakey. Let me say. Oh my goodness. This is all we're driving. It's just right there. But they want to be with us, so we. Hi, guys. I got a big kiss from Diesel. Immediately, just a wild laugh. Ah, there she blows. Yay. Aw, that's gonna be fun. All right, guys, we're here, come on. Oh, okay. We got our on sale floaties too. <laughs> Can't beat that. And this deck is awesome. We put sand in the paint like you guys did, so it's all oh, grippy. Oh, yeah, so you don't slip. Too thick over here. Smart. Yeah. These are smart. Oh yeah. Sometimes. Are you going in? Is that what, that's what we're here to do, right? I'm yeah. ready to Ooh, look how clean that is. Ooh, lolly. Body of water in the desert. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's really hot outside. You can't work all day long and not get overheated. You just you have to have some time to cool down. But if you have a pool, you can just jump in real quick, cool down, and keep working. And it is it's so much fun to work outside because you can just I mean you can just stay in your swimsuit all day and work for a little bit, get hot, jump in, and you're refreshed and ready to go again. So it's really cool. Where's <laughs> 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 
Bye, bye guys. We'll say bye to the dogs, not you bye guys. <laughs> bye guys. I'll see, see you guys. Bye. Thanks for the dip. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the watermelon. <laughs> Thank you for the pool dip. It was very nice. Oh, it was nice. That still feels nice. It's kind of wet. A nice hot day. It's very refreshing. That wraps up this video. The merch design of the week is certified and winging it. If you'd like to pick up this design on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, we have aprons and pillowcases and bags and mugs and all kinds of fun stuff. We have a sale going on that starts tomorrow and it goes through the 21st. So if you're looking to possibly purchase something from our shop, be sure to wait till tomorrow because you get the 15% off. Oh yeah. We really appreciate you being a part of our family and we look forward to hanging out with you again next Friday. Bye. I think that box looks a little small for you. Here, I'll get you covered with your toy. There you go. Now you can live wild and free. Mm -hmm. Hi, bud. You helping out? Huh? You helping out? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we are sewing, like we know how to do anything. <gasps> and that's gonna go into the chicken bowl. And then I'm just gonna- Into the chicken bowl! Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. TV Spice Fight! Spice Fight on Twitch.